Oh, there we go. This is a nice one today. These are um, what I like to call pre-manufactured clouds in the sky. Hi, how you doing? Nobody seems to notice this, right? Not at all. Why would you? They look like normal clouds to me, don't they? Yeah. yeah they're, they're all normal. It's Black Friday, so everybody's out shopping right now. That's right. And they are just hitting a wall. <laughs> look at this. this is, wow. Wonderful day today, isn't it? Yeah, but I'm just some wacko that's recording the clouds. Why would anybody be looking at that? You know, isn't it amazing? Ah, enjoy. Hold on. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you may be. Uh, CC here, Chris, from New York, uh, Westchester County. It's November 23rd, uh, 2018. And I'm just showing you uh, our skies here um, in, uh, in the county that I'm in. Um, you see, yesterday it was clear blue skies. There wasn't a cloud. Well, there were a couple of natural clouds that passed by. I haven't seen those in a long time, which most people don't even know what they are anymore. But flat earthers do. Uh, we do remember what clouds look like. Okay. Uh, now I even heard the weather. And if you notice, you're gonna you're gonna see them morph right here too. Okay. Isn't that great? Yeah, those are natural clouds morphing in front of your eyes is a natural occurrence apparently i heard the weatherman is now going to come up with a new name for him i'm not sure what it what they thought of i have no idea um how people don't see this obvious everyday shit that's going on it is beyond me you know it really is beyond me and when i talk to a flat earther and they're not on board with chemtrails. That gives a little bit of a warning to me. You know what I'm saying? Because they're, I don't, I, how could that be? You know, I mean, if you're a flat earther and you don't understand about this, then I don't know. I'm in question about that. Anyway, so I want you to just enjoy that. And every time you see something in the sky, make a little video of it and show people your skies. Because I think it's important for everybody to understand this. I mean, even if you're not a flat earther, I mean, do you accept this? Look at this. They're hitting us like gangbusters here today. You know, they're, they're making up for yesterday. They, they all took Thanksgiving off, I guess. I, I guess. I hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving, by the way. Um, you were with your family. I was myself. Uh, we celebrated ours a couple of weeks ago. You know the reasons why for that. But, um, you know, I mean, I, I even make a petition about, about this nonsense that's going on in our sky. I can't believe... You know, people argue about typical, I mean, just such nonsense they argue about here in my county. About someone building a fucking fort for their uh, son outside in their backyard. And meanwhile, they don't say anything about this shit that's going on. And many other things that are going on. They're worried about a little fort that's that's going to be in their next door neighbor's backyard so their kid can enjoy it. You know, all right, look, I, I'm not, I, I, I don't, I, I don't care. I'm just saying my point is, look, there's so many other things to, to really talk to your politician about, and this is one of them. And I would, one, like to see one single politician out there come up and actually have the balls to say something about this. This, this, right here. See that? Which will morph in front of your very eyes, and everybody sees it. How could they not? <laughs> How could they not? Maybe that's why they came out with Google Glasses, you know, or whatever those 3D things. You just walk around like that the rest of your life. You might as well. You know, I was, uh, it brings me to another point that I, I wanted to bring up. Um, I'm not shopping on Black Friday. I, I don't understand what the point is. You're not going to get any more sales that you can't get next week, then you can't get this. I mean, it's all propaganda bullshit. It's all complete nonsense. And you got to hear the media right now. I mean, they, they've, they've, they've gotten very excited. You know, I mean, they really have to go out and go shopping. Get all your gifts right now. You're going to get such great deals. I, you know, when you see right through these people, it brings a new light to reality of TV, you know, which is just total garbage <laughs> nonsense you know i mean it's just 
you can't you can't watch it anymore. It's 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 not there to be watched. It's there for complete amusement. Just flip on the nightly news and get yourself a bag of popcorn and sit back and relax and have some good laughs. You know because it's all fake. It's all nonsense. You know, people say they like to watch movies. Movies, what? When you, you, the minute you flip on the fucking TV, it's a movie. Everything's a movie on there. It's it's total fakeness. It's it's that you've allowed this box inside of your house that emits lies about everything. Everything. All right, I was get, get back to what I was saying. Uh, my regular talk show host wasn't on, so a woman uh, was took her place. I, I, I took his place. I, I forget what, what her name is. And uh, they were talking about what shows you don't watch anymore because it's gotten so bad, you know, because Holly Weird has shoved so many things in your face. I mean, for, hey, forget about the, half the fact that most of them are transvestites anyway, and they're lying about that, you know. So what you're seeing is probably not what you think you're seeing. So forget about that. Let's just put that one aside. That's a totally different video. Let's just take a look at the what the, the propaganda that they're putting and shoving in your face, you know, telling you who to vote for, you know, and, it, and you know, if they don't get the person in office, they'll just continuously bash them over and over and over again. The late night show, remember when Johnny Carson was over there, they, they would do it, they would bash the presidency maybe once or twice, and, and they would go on to other stuff. This is just continuous. They don't know what to do anymore. They don't know what to do. It's like most famous people, when their career spirals down and they're about to hit rock bottom, they just pull shit out of the air and they just don't know. Whatever sticks, they run with, okay? And that's what a lot of people are doing right now. And that's what the whole media is doing at this point because they don't know what to do anymore. Because people aren't watching, you know? People are starting to wake up. Maybe not to the flat earth, but they're getting there. And it's a good start, okay? I was playing a video game on my, um, I used to be a gamer, a big one, when I was much younger. Um, when games were games, you know, I mean, they were, you know, pixels and stuff like that on, on, the, on the screen, and, and, and they were cute, you know. Now, I, games have really become very graphic, but that's obviously what the market, that's the market they're going for, you know. Um, and that's where it's going, obviously. I mean, you know, next thing you'll just be able to write movies. You might as well. I mean, that that's that. I mean, these things look like movies for for crying out loud. Um, and I, you know, it, it brought me uh, very quickly to the plausible possibility of uh, beyond flat Earth, about our limitations of what we can do here, all of us. You're playing a video game and you're walking down a street. Old, old school games, you know. You can't go into that car next to you. You can't go and open the door that you're passing, right? You can't sit inside physically, all right? Because it's a limitation. It's a computer program. You're limited on what you can do in that particular game. As we are limited of what we can do here, okay? No matter how big our technology is, we just can't. We have limits, for example, eight miles. We can't dig down more than eight miles, and we never will. <laughs> There's not a single thing we'll ever be able to come up with that will be able to dig beyond eight miles. That's a limitation. Yeah, Our limitation is with the uh, ceiling above us, whatever it may be. We have a limitation, obviously. NASA knows. All the uh, space agency knows to curve. So there's something up there, definitely. There's got to be. That's a limitation, okay? We can't get beyond that. Those are two huge limitations, I would say. Sky and ground. We'll never be able to get beyond it, no matter what our technology is. That's a limitation, and I want you to think about a computer program, you know? Could it be a simulation? I don't know. I'm just throwing these ideas out there for you to think about on a Friday after Thanksgiving. That's what I'm here to do. All right, I hope everybody's good. Um, I got a... A lot of other things to cover, but I, I, I will be covering them. I hope you've enjoyed our chemtrail day today. Uh, looks nice, isn't it? And morphing back there. Put it in fast forward. You should be able to get a, a nice view of it. I thank you for subbing. I thank you for viewing my videos. I thank you for uh, letting me be a part of your life. <laughs>